Hello. Oh my God, I've missed you guys. It's been a while. Do you want to explain why it's been a while? It's always, <gasps> we always got a story. Listen, uh, <laughs> life be life in. Life really be life in. Like, it's just like life be going so well, then boom. No, Something goes ass. wrong. Like, why is that? You can't just be happy. <laughs> like, damn. That's why it's called life. You can't be too happy. Like, God be like, chill. You're too happy right now. God said, you're, you're comfortable. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said. God wants you to be happy, but God wants you to stop being comfortable. And that is, we keep facing lessons after lessons after lessons on how to stop being comfortable. Let me change the light from yellow to white. Um. So, what's been happening is that my camera got fucked up, and there's only one, surprisingly, one guy that I've been suggested to here in Providence, and Better. he just capitalizes off the fact that he's the only motherfucker that knows, Smart how, to, man. knows how to fix cameras, because literally everyone I asked suggested that same person, and I'm, he was charging me an arm and a leg. Not really, but I can afford it. That's the crazy part, but I just don't want to pay that. I don't want to pay no, the you amount. No, no, it's not even that. It's the fact that it's half of what the camera costs. Right. It, that's, so like, that's really the Might truth. as well put the other half and get a new one or just find somewhere else to get it right. fixed. And that's the option. Find some, finding somewhere else to get it fixed. Yeah, so I'm currently, you know, in the So if you do that. know of um, any places, I have one place that I asked a friend of mine that is into cameras. And New York was suggested a place in New York, so we're going to try that. Yeah. But so. shout out to um, my sister for letting us use her camera. Yes, which thanks, I'm Jeannie. not mad at it because it looks great. Thanks so much. But we did not. I wanted to come on here, and you can see the energy. Like, it's so different because I'm so happy and so excited Me to be too. here. I feel like I'm speaking with such confidence. And it's just like, in the past few months, I have really gained a lot of self-love for myself and who the F I am. And I had to re re consistently remind myself, like, don't forget who you are and what you can deliver. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you go into a deep-ass hole and you forget who you are. And you feel like you're a piece of trash. And right yeah. now, I feel like I am the best, even in this <laughs> shitty economy. I don't care. Yeah. That's it. Like... There's nothing much to it. The, the past few months, I had time to, to really collect myself and a lot of things that I want to change about myself, and I'm currently working on it. If, if not working on it, I've started at least a little bit on it. So I'm proud of, proud of who I am. I feel co very confident. That's just really what it is. I feel confident within myself and who I am. I'm so. proud of how I've been handling everything that's been thrown at me lately. Yeah, for real. Honestly, literally. just yesterday, I couldn't believe just just yesterday. Literally, God goes, eh, another thing, eh, another thing. And I thing. literally stayed so calm. I was just like, yeah. Like, that's literally how I've been about everything. I've just been like, let me go for yeah. a walk. <laughs> let me listen to some Zen music. I literally, this, that's all you can do. Like, no, that's literally. all you can do. I'm not going to say that I'm, I'm always going to be freaking thing but i'm just doing the due diligence to not mm -hmm. drive myself crazy no more because your life has been lifing mm -hmm. and now that i think back the stuff that i used to say and cry about i wish those were my problems right now right i wish that it was just like because it's just like it's, it's 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 more of a conversation with myself like ah you'd be really crying at some dumb shit like mm -hmm. calm down relax for real because now there's like more some more way more serious shit going on like and I'm just like, cheers, actually. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Listen, I had a long day and I need cocktail. I'm living my true sex in the city life. I don't know, but after turning 30, it's just, oh, God. It's rough. It's Alcohol tough. is hard for me, yo. Yeah, I don't, I don't really Woo. drink as much anymore, but yo, right we now. Drink a lot. Bro. Yeah, we were alcoholics at a little. We had to we go. We had to be. We were really depressed yeah. at that point. yeah. I, not, I know I was. I know I was. I, I don't... That's not what I... We used, we used to go to a bar after work, like, often. <laughs> <laughs> like, I you have, know, like, oh, the guys... Oh, a weird... Like, you know, like, thing. the guys that be in suits by themselves at the bar? That was me That was Abby. us. Literally. And when we would feel like we were a team, we used to just go to camp and no one had five shot, five pickleback shots. Pickleback. Like, damn. Pickleback shots. Pickleback. And big burgers. Backs. Like, Big ass on. backs. <laughs> like, no. 
This is why I'm currently in the in the process of losing some weight because of all that alcohol I consumed last year and the mm-hmm. year before that because of my depression. But I'm cleared now. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah. But Today I walked. This is so random. I feel like one of the kids. Today I walked four miles by myself. Wow, that's amazing. A person, you know, I don't like to work out. No, no, you. You got to do things. You got to do things by yourself, you know? Mm-hmm. That's how you and get felt used great. to I it. I was listening to Pastor Mike, and with my, like, I had my headphones on. I put um, a sermon on, and it took me a while. It took me as long as the sermon, mm-hmm. and it was great. By the time I got home, it was over. It was perfect, and it was hard, let me tell you. It was, I had to push myself, but I, that's I good. did that's it. That's amazing. It that's really great. great. Wow. Of being home that feels like, don't problems. you feel like that's like a step to a new beginning, a step to like something new? You don't feel yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I remember, I remember like back in the day when I was in a relationship, he used to be like, um, like, yeah, come, come, at least speed walk. Mm-hmm. And I used to be like, nah. And when I did do it, just around the lap, he just said speed walk, and I died. And now I could just do it. Isn't do it. That it like my knees hurt and shit, but yeah. I mean my legs hurt. You know, after a while, it just hurts. But I pushed through. Wow, that's amazing, for real. Because when you finally find that, like, you sometimes you just get in a place where it's just like, yo, I'm tired of all these excuses, mm-hmm. honestly. And then you start to like push yourself to. to to limits that you don't usually push yourself, which is yeah. amazing. I always say this. Everybody always has their breaking point. Every single person. However, whether, I did tell myself, when I get home, I'm going to finish it off with, like, like other, like, workouts mm-hmm. from the TV, from YouTube, or from TikTok. And I didn't do that. But at least I took a step yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, you did. You so did. maybe tomorrow I'll do, well, tomorrow I don't have time, but... Yep. Maybe the following day I could just push myself. Okay, I already did this these four miles. I'm gonna do that again, and then I'm gonna do ten of ten minutes of whatever. Mm-hmm. I just love how this looks. I, I just know, it looks so cool. Even the red cup, I know, like just looks fire. <sighs> but life's been. How long has it been? I don't even remember the last episode. Since we last put an episode out, yeah, I don't even know. Well, guys, look, we got these little letters in the back. So if you're listening, we got. We finally, if you go on YouTube, you can um, see that we added some more decor to our setup. So we have our room um, on the wall. It's like some big letters. Move your head to the side so they can see it good. I love it. It looks so cute. It's like a little piece of... Give it a little bit of, you know, some life. And we got Mike... Look, can we talk? Can we say the story about yes, Mike? Yes, let's say the story about right. Mike. You, you guys really want to know speaking things into existence and really praying for what you want? First we of all, we prayed for this plant and for this couch and for this couch and for this couch. But talk couch. about Mike. Listen, we already spoke about kay. the couch before. We went to go get a plant. Okay, we're like, okay, what's the cheapest place? We're not trying to spend too much on plants. We're not plant people. We limited care. Like, yeah. we just want something easy. We're like, all right, let's go to Walmart because Walmart has their plant section. Mm-hmm. We go, all this shit is messed up. Yeah. And like, we're, we're, listen, we're not trying to pay more than $20 no, for a plant. we are literally extreme cheapskates. No, listen, we're not trying to pay more than $20 for a plant. No, we wanted to pay $10. <laughs> no, we, like, we see one for 10 that was dead, and Leo was like, no, we would have been like, we'll be straight. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. Hell yeah. Shit. But then I'm like, damn, but look at No, this. that shit was so dead. Like, that was bad. And I like low key kept looking. And she was just like, you want another one? I'm like, nah, this one right here. No, we, then we looked at the $15 one. Then we're like, we're doing the math. Like, yeah. Yo, we're not trying to play for, the, for this. $5 plant. and $5 each one's phenomenal if we just water the other one. But then I seen Mike. We're gonna get to we're gonna get to, to the, the story, story why of we why we the, named him Mike. Mike. Then I seen Mike, and Mike was twenty four ninety eight to be exact. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, pricey. Yeah. <laughs> and this economy for a plant. For a plant. I'm so, and we're not plant people. We don't care. Not only that, twenty four ninety eight is crazy. We're not. We're not in the studio twenty four seven. So Literally. we can't just. We can't like. We need something that's like we're like damn like who's gonna water this all the time so. We had to take that into consideration. We had to re- read the little tag that comes with it to see if we can just leave it chilling in the sun and it can sustain. Mm-hmm. So we seen that was Mike was the only one of that of that family. I don't even know what to, I don't know the name of the plant because yeah. we don't we're not we, plant people. Yeah, we really don't. Mike was that. the only one that looked like that, and I'm like, yo, I really like like Mike gravitated. So if you're me. listening, Mike has like big leaves, mm-hmm. like the big ones, like yeah. not the little ones. That's big Mike, not the little one. <laughs> 
So, so <laughs> we took Mike with us, <laughs> and what we, we we load Mike to the car into the little cart, and then Leo goes out of nowhere. <laughs> Mind you, it was in phenomenal condition. Like, it was like a brand new plant. We see that, like, three, a, a couple little scuffs, like, nothing crazy. Like, a little, a tiny bit of brown pieces. Like, barely. Like, we were reaching. <laughs> and then Leo's like, I'm asking for a discount. And I'm like, oh, bet. <laughs> she, like, opened up my eyes. I said, oh, hell yeah, we're asking for a discount. There's not, li- listen, if you see something that is not great at a store, Yo, shoot for that discount. Jesus not, says, as long as you try, I will help literally. you. Literally. Literally. So so then we were also getting a spray paint to spray something, um, one of the racks we have here in the studio. So we found this um, young kid that worked at Walmart, and I like to look at people's name tag because you got to build... Yeah. You gotta build this 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 you know relationship, relationship to, get to, get, to get the finesses, right? <laughs> <laughs> so... I forgot the guy, the, the young kid's name. He was probably like 18 years old. Yeah, he was so young. Yeah, and I was like, um, let's say his name was Tom. Hey, Tom, um, can you help me here with the, with the spray paints? He said, oh, yeah, of course, blah, blah, blah. And they said, but I just have to charge you on this register, which is the register of the electronics. So I said, bet, no problem. Can you charge this plant as well? He said, oh, yeah, cool. So we get there. We char- he, he's charging the stuff, and then I go, this plant has a, a, a few little scruffs. And then Leo's out of nine, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, look, doesn't well. look It doesn't look well. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, okay, let me get my manager. <laughs> so like, Yo, you guys, if you're listening, hop on YouTube right now and look at Mike. Mike. Mike's Mike. in perfect condition. Mike Mike's sexy. healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then he calls, he goes, this is what he does. Mike, can you please come to the electronics? <laughs> So what well, if oh well, what no he doesn't say a name does he I don't know he called he somebody to the electronics over. yeah he called somebody to the electronic and like five minutes later there's a big ass back ass girl comes eating and she and I'm thinking that she's the manager lady so I'm like oh yeah this this plan doesn't look the greatest um I would like this company <laughs> with authority and shit cause fuck that the fuck. <laughs> And she goes, um, unfortunately, you're going to have to go to customer service for that. You're going to have to go to the plants, people. Like, yeah. like the plants and section. of course, she was white. I'm going to keep it a stack. And, and the young kid was black. And I'm like, yep. of course, of course. And he goes, um, I already called Mike. And period. And I'm like, yeah, period. Like, the fuck are you looking for? <laughs> the fuck are you? You're not even Mike. Get out of here. <laughs> so then Mike comes. Mike is this nice white guy. And he, and he goes, oh, um, we, we explained to him that. The, the the plant doesn't look the greatest. And he goes, oh, would you, do you mind waiting for me to go get, like, um... A sticker a to sticker change thing. the... So he pretty much, like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you a discount. He doesn't really say much. Yeah. So we're like, Damn. He just said, can I go get the machine? I'm like, of course! Mind not you, not a problem, take your time. 2498. And I'm thinking, we're thinking, yeah. all right, he's coming back, he's gonna do a little discount or whatever because mm-hmm. this plant, look at it, it's healthy. Yeah. It's healthy. It has little, little dead things at the front, but mm-hmm. that's about it. Nothing crazy. Yeah, so he takes at least like 10 minutes. And I, yep. I had said, take your time. We will wait yep. till it closes for this discount. Mm-hmm. So then he finally comes back and he puts a price and he covers it and he asks us, how much you think it is? And I read his thing and it says Mike. And of course, you know what we right. say? We like to make the relationship. I'm like, I'm like, mm, you know, I don't want to say t- too high <laughs> to them and fuck up our shit. Right. So then I'm like, Mm-hmm. What do you think, Leo? Mm-hmm. I'm like seventeen dollars, and I'm like, like Mike, you're playing right now, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> and he's like happy. He's like, he's guess like, no, guess, guess again. He's like, guess. guess, and I'm like, like he's really into it. He's like really he's guess. Like mass soup, and then he goes, um, I go, I know, I say fifty, I said fifteen dollars, and he's like, and Leo says seventeen, and then boom, he un- he unlocks the the freaking price, seven. seven? Mike, I love you, Mike. You don't understand. So, like, you know, we had to be like, we had to be appreciative. So, we're like, we want to see two soup. <laughs> we're like, Mike, wow, no Mike, way, you are Mike. Just, thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're such a, you're a blessing. Thank you. And he goes, you guys passed right by me in the plant section. I'm like, really? Mike? Mike? Oh, my oh God. I got sorry, Mike. I should have asked you then. It was so funny. I said sorry. It was amazing. Times. So sorry now we have Mike. Mike. That's this is Mike. This is Mike. <laughs> <So> like, <laughs> Wait. 
before before we enter Walmart or like we, I said we gotta we gotta plant the I said we gotta name the plant because you know you gotta treat plants this is what I've heard you gotta treat plants with love in order for them to right, survive right right and then Leo goes I got a plant in my crib and I never <laughs> I never named it and I said oh, I bet <laughs> so then we're coming out of we're coming out of Walmart with Mike <laughs> and I go we're naming the plant Mike it and was <laughs> genius literally and then <laughs> and then out of nowhere I'm over here loading up Mike and Leo goes secure Mike <laughs> Mike has to be secured Mike's a blessing from Jesus when Christ when I tell you I started amen I, amen when I tell you I started dying because initially she was like no nah, we don't got any plants <laughs> and then all I know she's like secure Mike um, Mike Yo. Mike the real Mike not the plant yeah. Mike the real Mike if you're listening to this Mike you are such a blessing you're so, I just you're such a beautiful person and mm-hmm. honestly Cause it's true. Walmart's not even yours. Fuck it. Give it right. for seven fucking dollars. In all seriousness, I just feel like I just fuck with people that help people. I'm that person. So when I right. see that giving back, it just means so much to me. I'd be like, damn, like that's so fucking nice. And when I worked in all these stores, I oh, I hooked it up. I don't. Know I gave the, them my discount. Whatever. What, what big bag Sally? I. I'm gonna call her Big Bag Sally. Yeah. Big Bag Sally was so tight. We got a discount. She was she so was, mad. She was living it. I just went. I was, was just so like, mad. Damn, she, Big Bag Sally. Here, don't be mad. She looked like Casper. She was. She was like shaking she was her head. Living. Like, like she was a regular employee. She wasn't even Mike. Like you have no authority here. Get out of here. Yeah, give it a mic. Mike. Handles Mike the, and, and Mike the handles kid. the plants. <laughs> Yo, you don't understand how freaking souped we were. We don't understand. Okay, like, so- <laughs> every single time we speak on certain things, like, this couch is one of them that we've said this the story another, previously. Yeah, this couch so is go tune another into that one. episode, wherever the hell we talked about it. It was, like, the beginning of one season. Yeah. Uh, we only got two seasons, but... The beginning of this, the, the, this season. Yeah, the yeah. beginning of this season, we talk about the story of this couch. Like, God just keeps showing us in different many ways... And how you just have to ask for things and try. Literally. That's all you have to do. We literally did that with this couch in this studio. We're like, we wanted this couch since we had the other studio. And I said I wasn't going to say the story. Here I am saying the story. But I'm not going to say it. But we, we wanted the couch. We spoke it. We got it in hours. We wanted the plant, that beautiful Mike plant. Mm-hmm. And we got the freaking plant for $7. So Literally. To all my people, including myself, because I'd be forgetting about how important it is to have faith in God. Yes. Have faith in God and do not get frustrated because he can be testing you. And honestly, guys, whenever you make a plan, oh, if you make a plan on how to achieve certain things, and not only one plan, plan, but many plans to be able to achieve that goal, one of the plans are going to work. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the truth, as long as you have faith in God. Mm-hmm. And God has, sees that you have a plan to work towards what you want. Don't only Literally. go by your one plan. Make many plans to achieve that goal and try and every right. single one of them till something t- till the something works. The key is to try. Literally. The key is to try and to try and to not give up. Because God is testing you and God will give it to you. Legit. And that goes for everything. That goes for relationships. That goes for jobs. That goes for everything. There's no need to get frustrated anymore. We're humans. And I'm saying this, and I'm not going to say that that I'm never going to get frustrated again because that's a damn lie. But if you're listening to this right now and you're frustrated over any situation in your life, pray and go to sleep in peace. Yes. Cheers to God. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. But no. No, that story is so funny. That story is I legendary. love that story. Fucking Mike, yo. I but love besides, Mike. But besides this plan, everything that we've been manifesting and praying on, life has been lifing like yo, OD. Like no other I'm time. I'm going through so much at my current job. I'm not even going to go into details, but just know. Like, we work in the same job, by the way. <laughs> Some bullshit. Um... It's really hard when, I'm just going to give it raw, like, white people just being superior over, over, over you, you know? And it's just crazy over how... the colored people. Yeah, how they can just dictate absolutely They can get here in, in literally seconds. They can, just, they can just come and then boom. 
That's it. Like you're gone. Like I, you don't even know the rules. Like I know the rules. And not even. And another even thing is like, I'm tired of white people taking over our community. As a black community, Hispanic community, we have to do better and really inserting ourselves into places where we need to be and not the whites. I'm so sorry. I know I'm giving it to it raw, but they can't relate to our children. They can't relate to our families. Our families, our the community, help is nothing. Not there. They don't they're, get they're it. They're not. They're not. They. They. It's. It's. They didn't go through what we went through. I, and I'm not to say it all because not everybody has it easy. But they just. They don't. They don't feel it and they don't push us hard because they never been through it. Yeah. Like and I I'm, was right. a certain child. My family comes from another country, so I feel it. So when I'm helping somebody in my community, is because I already went through it. You oh, I feel, feel it. it. You know what it is to be in their position. You know what, you understand it. And it's just like, I'm not saying that all white people are like this, but it's it, it's a lot of them. There's just no understanding. There's such amazing people, like this one teacher that we work with that is so amazing that it's just Yeah, because like, there's good and bad of everybody. Yeah, and it's just like, it's either you have to really dedicate yourself like that woman does. She really dedicates to every child. Mm-hmm. Amazingly. And, like, it's so, I'm lear- I'm sitting in that class learning. She's so amazing, and she dedicates herself to each and every child. And it's like you have to pick either one. If this is, if you have to either pick, like, okay, this is what I want to do. I really want to reshape this community and really put my all. But just don't be in a certain place just for the money, because it, it really your work is gonna reflect on these kids, and it's gonna pass down, and they're gonna feel a certain way, or they're not gonna feel like they're important, or they feel like they haven't learned anything because they couldn't relate, or you couldn't help them correctly because you couldn't understand them. Not only so. that, though, I think it's very important for you to sit with with the people and just learn them, mm-hmm. especially when you're coming new to a place. You you know what it is when you're when you're when you've been at a place for a certain amount of time. And somebody new just comes and, ch- and just di- dictates everything. Yo, you just got here yesterday. Yep. What are you doing? Not knowing the history of each person, the hard Literally. work, the the stuff that ha- they have done. You know what I mean? So, um, my thing is, all I'm really saying is, obviously, we wanna we wanna be in different places. We wanna have faces to be in places where people will never expect us to be. But our people, our young people, need us. They need us very, very bad. Mm-hmm. And no matter where life takes you or whatever you're doing, dedicate some time to these people and spit them a little bit of knowledge. Take some time out, 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 of, out of the year to do something to really give some knowledge to these kids because they're really, some kids are really missing it. They're, 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 they're still coming from home. A lot of families are still coming from homes where their parents are not even speaking English yet, like for real. Yep. Our, these young people need us, no lie. And that's all I really have to say because... But, but, on the other hand, I'm glad all this craziness is happening because we tend to get comfortable sometimes. Yeah. And right here, me entering the space, me getting ready for today to come film, it, made, it brought a lot of joy. And sometimes, like I said, we get comfortable and we forget the stuff that we really care about and what, the stuff mm-hmm. we really want to do. And we just get caught up in life and yep. we just get lazy. I and mean, it's not even entirely just lazy. It's that we're tired. Right. Like we're not, tw- I'm not 23 no more. When we started doing this, I was 23, you was 22 or 21 turning 22. Yeah, yeah. That's you crazy. know what I'm saying? And it's just like, we don't have the same energy, but I'm so glad that today we literally, we work, we're up. I'm hoping it's still recording. Is it? Oh, let me see. It should be. She said that it doesn't stop. Oh, sorry, guys. But um, our schedule for work now is different, and um, we're up super, super early now. So we literally got out of work by three, three something. She worked out on her end. I worked out on my end. I made something mm-hmm. to eat. I got, I went, took a shower, got ready, and came here. Like, 100% productive. This is the most productive we've been, yes. literally. And tomorrow, we got something going and, on, too. Yep. 
and it's, it's going to be the same. And I love it. The camera was a delay, but that should have never been an excuse. And honestly, I'm really tired of talking about it, so I'm not mm-hmm. going to say anything else about it. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't know. Like, what it is is just like, yo, what, what we're really trying to say is work what for what you really want and work very hard because these white motherfuckers will literally like it's 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 like to get a race to get a promotion and a job right now it's crazy it is so crazy and you know what's crazy that i think about like oh, you know what i'm gonna get the fuck out of there but i tr- oh my god it's like it's like at the same time it's just like i just want to continue to work hard for my own shit really cuz i know that i know that there's problems in every single job and i just want to work hard towards my own shit because I just don't want to fucking deal with it no more. It's, you know yeah. what it is? You know what that you like? I just don't want to deal with it. I'm like over it, 100 percent over it. I just want to work hard for my own shit. But, Literally tired. And not and I'm not talking about every single white person again. I'm talking about you. You 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 know if you the know you know if you know you know the kind of people that take power to the di- to a different level. So. Um, that's currently what I'm going through right now and what I really want to do. Like, what I've really been focused, is on, focused on is like, yo, <laughs> I'm, I am who I am and I am a very intelligent person and I am very professional and I'm very hardworking and I do all the things that I have to do and it's just like, I have the ability to move forward and do whatever I want. I, I do. I just got to continue to apply myself. I can't yeah. continue to have somebody really knock things down in my life. It's not allowed. This isn't my life. I'm just to the point where I don't even react anymore. Like, I just don't. I don't have the energy for it anymore. Like, I'm telling you, like, that's just, that's been my vibe lately. I just mm-hmm. don't react. I don't know if it's. I don't know. I one thing I don't know if it's I don't know if it's like a coping mechanism for me where I just I'm just ignoring everything and not feeling things through. I don't know. Or I'm just calm. Either or. No, because of the thing is that sometimes you're just tired of talking about it, so you're just gonna continue. You're just gonna work. There's no need to speak yeah. about things and not over only, and over. You know. You know. Not only that, but one thing that I've been learning about myself because I've been sitting with myself a lot. I love being in silence right now. Mm-hmm. It's either silence or like some Zen music. I can't have the same reaction twice. So if something hurt me deep, something, a situation, work, if it hurt me super, super deep in, in one way, and, and, you know, shit just, occur, it just, shit just happens. Life just happens. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't hurt me the same. It hurts, but it just doesn't hurt me the same. That you know what that's so one, like work, woman there's superpower. There's, there's just been so I much feel bullshit. like I, everything, everything in life. But that's one beautiful superpower women have. So I'm like a weirdo, and I be looking. I I was just sending stuff to you last night about animals, yeah. <laughs> and how women are literally the leaders, and how women move, thinking about everything. We think about every situation, mm-hmm. and that's how it is for animals as well. Like the women who are the women, the females. Let me say, not say women. The female animals that are in lead are usually the ones that think of every situation that can possibly happen. And I feel like that's a great superpower that we have because we start to really take. We we have something where we're we have such self awareness of certain things and situations. You just gotta accept things for what it is yeah. sometimes, and you just can't force it. You can't. I can't force the people at work right. to understand me. I can't force right. it. So why am I going to keep freaking going crazy at a situation that I, that I can't control? Why am I going to keep... First of all, you already think I'm mad ghetto because of the way I look and talk. Like, and and I'm, I get treated like a little kid because I look young. I'm not fucking young. I'm not... A, I, if I, what, because I, because I dress like a young person, I guess? I, I don't know what it is. I don't look like an old lady. Right. I don't know what it... I don't know, but... I'm not going to continue to spaz and continue to do all these things when it's just like, because, I already, I already been through because it. Because the thing I already is cried, that the generation already... like uh, before us, a lot of them, if you start to notice these, this is all random we're all, all over the place. But if you start, if you really notice mm-hmm. like, <laughs> like currently the person who's in charge, right? You know who I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Literally someone on our age can take over. 
that's the, that's the thing. They work these the people before work so hard to be in these certain positions that they feel like there's levels to it. You shouldn't just jump from this job to this job. And it's just like uh, things are changing. Things are different. The education, that the access to, to the access to to, to 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 stuff is so easy. You can literally look anything up. How I was Chat looking GPT, up. How I was looking up. With Ch- Chat GPT, lions and elephants and whales and hyena. Female leadership. Well, yeah. <laughs> when we had when we had a previous boss, remember we put him on to Chat GPT. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Oh, he's gonna hear this. I know he's gonna hear. He actually listens to our stuff. But but yeah, like honestly, like it's it's yo, it's just not it's not that hard. But whatever, man. I'm but I, all I know is huh, I am not I am in a place where it's like, yo, nobody can fuck with me right now. Ain't nobody fucking with me. And that's a fact. Like I am just unbothered. Letting go and letting God. Literally. That's I really can't do it. nothing. I don't want to drive nobody crazy. I don't want to keep bickering. I don't want to keep spazzing. It takes more energy out of me than the person that I'm mad at at work. Mm-hmm. Like, why am I bye. Just don't just, I just, just don't even look at me. I'm gonna do my job, I'm gonna do what I gotta do, and I'm gonna get the fuck out until further notice. So watch and, and replay this video. Yep. <laughs> Literally. But wow, this is was a great episode. Yeah. We're just I don't know if you wanna we're conclude. We're just venting. Yeah, this is we just had a lot of things to let out, especially today. Like I, I had I needed a, a shot of gin. This is gin. Yeah, I, I still mine is still and mine is still Yeah, mine is still full. I'm like sipping uh, it's it. Very hard. And I just had a hard day and I needed it and I feel better and I'm glad we're here and I'm glad we filmed and I'm happy that your sister let us use. Thank you, Jeannie, so much. And I'm just happy and we're going to continue working. Yo, that's and that's really thing. it. Hold on, wait. We're not going to end this yet. No. Yo, I, now that you said thank you for letting you use the camera, you know, you know how fire it is when yo, people just have your back? Yesterday, yeah. let's talk about, shout out to freaking Lisandro because I'm not going to talk about everything that happened. Yeah. But Yo, it's so important to have good people that really, really got you. Like, that got you for real. For no matter real. what, that you can just... I, obviously, I didn't even have to call or nothing, but, like, there was a situation that happened with my mom, and one of, our fr- one of me and my sister's friends, we saw her, I mean, happened to see her, and thank God. Like, and just... It was, he was so helpful, and I'm just so freaking grateful. I'm so grateful. It's so important to help people, and it's so important to have people that really got your back for real. Because a person like me, I don't feel comfortable calling nobody for the right, most part. Right. Like, it's so hard. Right. So, like, lately, God's been showing out, especially because we just... Me and my mom, we've just been going through a lot. And right. And it's just the faith. Your mom... One thing about Abby's mom is that she is she moves in faith. She moves by faith. That's all she all she knows and all she yeah. does. Um, she has no worries. She's she, always calm because she. You know what she really thinks about, and that's one thing I b- love about your mom is that she really thinks about everybody in the world and your placement. Mm-hmm. And and sometimes we don't we do forget how greedy, how greedy we are, and how much we want money. And how much we want to do this and be this. And sometimes we don't stop to think about, fuck, I have a freaking house. Yeah. I, I, have, I, a I, I, have, I food, have a bedroom. I, have a I, ha- I, ha- I sleep with a pillow. I have a car. I have a C. Like, mm-hmm. and that's, that's why your mom is the way she is. Because she thinks about everybody else in the world. And she goes, I'm fine. Yeah, she's like, I'm okay. Not this world. is not even serious. And she sees it as so this is a test and I'm always she's gonna pass because she does not get frustrated at all. She yep. literally stays calm as day. I'm working on it and I've been doing a lot better. Cause usually I am the type that I just pour into tears and I lock myself and I shut down. But I've been calm because what are we gonna do? It's just been so much at the same time that it's mm-hmm. just like we're just there like all I keep saying is something big is about to happen. Because when, when there's a lot of storms going on in your life, I just feel like something grand mm-hmm. is going to happen. And I'm so ready for it, and I'm so excited for it, and I thank God ahead of time. No lie. Sometimes you don't even... 
I wish I can be really honest, but I don't like. I don't want to say too much about my personal life. But mm -hmm. listen, no, is that listen. we're gonna talk about it? But we're gonna talk about it in another season because yeah. it's just gonna be something we laugh at in the future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be something we're gonna we're gonna. It's a testimony, just like Mike was the testimony, and this couch was a testimony. That it was just God's work. We didn't we didn't do a video talking about oh we want a plant but we want a cheap plant. Once we got the plant, we're telling the world the story of how we got the freaking plant. Right, right. So I see the same thing for our lives. That's how I've been thinking. Like, mm -hmm. we're going through all of these things right now. And I 100% have to come back and tell everybody. So everybody can know that God is really real. 100%. Like, believe in you'll have. Yes. Amen. And that's it. And, and that's, that's how great, we're closing off, honestly. Yeah, have faith, everybody. Yeah. Wow, I'm so happy. And we're going to continue posting. We're back. And that's it. Yeah, well, we can buy. And if you camera. guys know somebody that can fix cameras for the low, hit us up. That'd be yeah. great. I'll thank you guys for tuning into this episode. Yes, and sorry for all the delays. Yeah. Um, okay, bye. bye.